All right, we've got two fans out in the bonus room here, and they are gonna go up in the ceilings here. And they are rather large. They are 60 inch fans. Typically what you find in some of the larger rooms are about 52 inch. So we went with the max size on this one because it's such a large room. Uh, the good thing about these fans, as I mentioned earlier, or way back, is that these two fans match what's in bedroom number two over here for daughter number one. It's the same fan, except hers was 48 inches. These are 60. We're also gonna get one more of these in a 48 inch fan to put in bedroom number three, way down at the end of the hall down there. But that is another time in another video series. But we're gonna go ahead and start this now. I'm actually gonna put this one on first, which is the rear one, because one of the wires there does not have power going to it at the moment. So I can work on that while the rest of the room is live with power. And I just have to be careful on, I believe the white wire, which is the neutral wire, because that does have power as you can see uh, on the top there. So I uh, just gotta be a little bit careful and get those uh, wired up and we'll see how that looks in a little bit. All right, we have completed the installation of the 60 inch fans in the bonus room. And surprisingly enough, these fans and the lights on them give off a lot of light in this room, as you can see by looking in the uh, entire room here. And those are just simple five watt LEDs that are in each one of them, there's two in each. So we could probably increase that to maybe eight watts, it'll get even brighter in here, but this is not bad at all. So really happy with that. The both switches work. Uh, that's great. We even have the remotes here that turn on the fans. We did not connect the lights to the remote because uh, those are always going to stay on or off from the switch. So that's going to work out very well. And overall, really happy with this. This is just another big milestone on getting the fans up and running. Uh, probably about three to four hours it took to get all of this in place. Uh, that just includes getting the wiring correct and then assembling the fan, which is not that hard, but just takes a lot of time. And make sure you go through the instructions if you ever put a ceiling fan up. Uh, they're usually written pretty well. But overall, looking fantastic. And with that, we are going to close this series out. This was a quick one. And proceed on to finishing up the molding, I guess, since we jumped ahead a little bit. But looking great. And until next time, peace out.